Hello, good day and greetings one and all, yes indeed, truly, greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. Oh, did I ever miss the spinning. <laughs> In any case, it has been some time ever since I recorded a Grimrock episode, therefore let us not waste any time and get right back into the journey. When we last left off, we had finally reached the Goromog Temple number 2. Yes. Yes, indeed. Welcome back to the depths of the Goromorg Temple. Wasn't the very first one such a huge pain? Raptors, riddles such as the illusionary corridor, blar. I do not wish to remember. I do not wish to remember at all. Now then, the quest to find the so-called Undying One continues with our humble party of four prisoners. Let me take a quick look at the inventories just to refresh my memory. <laughs> John is carrying not a whole lot. Except, of course, our food supplies. Hmm, if they ever run out, I will need to go back to the first temple after all, for our very food locker is still located within. Hmm. Next up, my humble self, plenty of scrolls. Also, ah yes, the memories are coming back to me. We collected two books of infinite wisdom, and I still didn't think about how to assign them skill points. Not at all. Hmm. That is going to happen, though, very soon in the nearby future. Foxy? How I alchemist, nothing special, except, of course, he is getting a little hungry. Hmm. This very shaman stuff, I want to throw it away, but maybe a situation will arise where we will need to place an item down. Therefore, I am going to keep it a little bit longer. Last but not least, Lemia, <laughs> your inventory is crammed, as always. No worries, though, we can deal with it. Hmm. Alrighty then, first things first, those two books. Before we plunge ourselves into the very depths of the Goromog Temple number two, I want to be a little bit more prepared. Hmm. Who would profit the most from these skill points? Let's see. Swords? One more. Parry. Evasion plus five. How much evasion do I have? Um, 26. How much does John have? 30. He has more. The cheeky bugger. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, believe me, I do not want to make you sit through me just standing here thinking about my skill points for freaking hours and days and weeks and months and years, but hey, it's part of the let's play. And if you have been following me up to this very point, then you should have grown used to it by now. Getting back on track though, hmm, swords is tempting. Armor? Hmm, health plus 15, evasion, you know, I shall take a look at our mage first. He would probably profit the most from new skill points, additional ones if you will. Mm -hmm. Improved combat caster, plus 50% faster spell casting, or I should say just 50% faster spell casting in general. Mm -hmm. I think he will receive one of these books, depending on, well actually he is very close to leveling up. Nah, I'm gonna wait for now. John? Let's see, armor, same story as my very armor, skill tree, athletics, mm, none of this seems all that appealing to me. See, the problem is I can never decide, and if I don't do this now, I may carry these books around with me until the very end of the game, which could work out one way or another, I guess, but it wouldn't really deliver us anything special. Mm. You know what? I will not use these books yet. No, I I will not. First, I want to see what exactly the Goromog Temple Number One has to offer. Now then, <coughs> so far we didn't actually encounter any Goromogs. I still don't know what they are supposed to be, which scares me. The Goromogs, as far as I can assume, eventually took over this very temple and started to worship the un. Oh my! started to worship the Undying One, hmm. but apparently the Undying One isn't allied with them. He says, I need to be careful, they are afraid of me, they are afraid that I might undo their vision. Who are the Goromorks? Hmm. Some ancient cult that decided to worship the Undying One? Decided to worship this Elder God, but he or she or it doesn't want to be worshipped. Hmm. Let's be careful now. <laughs> I am just on my merry way here, not at all knowing what to expect from this floor, but I am feeling scared. According to my um, very, very reliable sources, this is, um, well, is that actually the correct word to use? I wanted to say that this is the penultimate 
floor of the dungeon, but I don't know. Does penultimate actually mean the last or, you know, the one before the last? I have no idea. Well, there's a light here, and oh my, that looks like a key. Careful. You never know what might be lurking around the next corner. Aha! Hmm. Well, there's another curtain. And oh my gosh, that is a Cthulhu Mage statue. Let's take down this very yoink torch, shall we? Mm, I don't want to go into this very chamber. It won't lead to anything good. The Skeeto, oh my. Will it open up the gate if I take it? <sighs> Thankfully not. Some sort of round key with a lovely symbol. Mm, no description though. What exactly does this key need to be used for? What exactly do we need to use this key for? I have no idea, which worries me. Did I mention by the way that every single thing within this game worries me? Well, we can't open the door from here. That is a shame. Secret buttons. They could be anywhere, as always. Hello. I do have to say though, whenever I get back to recording more Legend of Grimrock, I am feeling happy inside. And why? Because I love this game. I love it so very, very much. Do not get me wrong. I also enjoy Lone Survivor. I enjoy The Binding of Isaac. Hell, I enjoy the new XCOM. Despite it not yet being all that challenging, but still, this game, it holds a special place within my heart. There's just something about its gameplay, it, uh, its atmosphere. I can't even put it in words. It's making me stutter already. I love this game. I freaking love it to no end. One of my favorite games of all time. However, speaking of time, enough postponing it. Progress. And into the darkness we go. Yep, yep. They are expecting me, eh? They have been expecting me ever since I entered this very floor. Correct. Not just this very floor. The same tapestry. No, 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 no. They have been expecting me ever since I was thrown into this dungeon to begin with. Mm. They attempted to... Baked maggot. They attempted to trap me within the so-called trap floor, number six, but it didn't work. Oh, gosh. Why am I suddenly feeling so scared? Uh, even... Uh, uh. <sighs> Calm down. You wanna know a fun fact? This very game is actually more scary to me than most modern horror games nowadays. That is how much they have begun to suck. And they have been sucking for a long time already. The last good horror game I played was Amnesia The Dark Descent. Something I will definitely let's play one day. But ever since that game, of course there was Cry of Fear, but I am talking about big games here. Big games you actually need to purchase. There's nothing out there. Nothing. <laughs> Resident Evil? Forget about that. What other examples are there? Um, I think there was one more example. Did I just hear something? Na 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 na. Aha. Uh -huh. Your mind is playing tricks on your TSC, but there is a um, keyhole here. One I will examine in a second upon investigating this chamber a little bit more. Hmm. Maybe the reason or one of the reasons why I love this game so very much is the fact that it is a slow pay- <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my fucking gosh. It's a bug. It's a fucking bug. <laughs> that scared me. You see what I mean? That scared me. Of course, it was a little bit more like a cheap jump scare. Not an intentional one, mind you. But it scared me. <laughs> There's a bug, one of these strange bug creatures, and I don't like them. That noise they make when flying about is terrifying, for some reason. Oh my lordy. Anything... Oh, oh dear. This floor is intimidating thus far alright. It is like the complete opposite of the Goromok Temple 1. It is even darker, there are creatures in the distance, and the floor is, of course, so very, very big. <laughs> What's gonna happen if I use this very key? Like, I am feeling a little scared here. Mm. Gonna save the game first. Because, you know, don't wanna die. Not yet. Alrighty then, open... Sesame. 
Oh my gosh. Holy shit, that's a raptor. And oh my gosh, those are fucking bucks. A lot of them. I am out of here. Ugh. Jesus. And that noise they make, it is not only terrifying, but it is also annoying and loud. I will have to lower the volume in editing afterwards. Oh Jesus Christ, why do you need to do this to me, bug creatures? Well, at least they die rather fast, even though they can disease us. Well, let us try to get rid of them, shall we? Hello there, Mr. Raptor. Hmm. Yeah, I can't just try to lure them in here. I need to do this the hard way. Alrighty then, gonna save the game again. Now then though, let us get down to business, down to combat. My hands are rusty, I haven't swung my sword about in some time, but now the chance will once again arise. Yeah. Bring it on, you bastards! I am ready! I am as ready as I'll ever be! Yeah, not really, but oh well, what the hell. Yep. Ah! Yes! Ooh, feel the wrath of the dismantler, you bastard. Why am I backing off so very much? This is not not good. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you can't freeze these bastards. We will need to tank them here. Oh gosh, this is not gonna be good. Yeah. Eat fire, you son of a bitch. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you fucking do it. Oh my gosh, he's gonna kill us. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh my gosh. That was a close one. Health potion? Should I drink it? That bug doesn't know yet that we are still here. Oh my gosh. Scary. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Hello. Strange bug creature. I oh my gosh. Ah! Ah, it is not frozen. We are going to die! We will die! Little bastard actually managed to strike me down. No. No. The crystal of resurrection and healing, the last one we fucking came across! No. The last crystal we came across is quite far away. I do not wish to backtrack. Therefore, reloading, they bastard me. Kudos, kudos indeed. Bloody goits. Okay, so what exactly is my problem? I could try to, or I should have tried to just keep them inside a big chamber and dance about them, but it's three of them, and the bugs are fast. We are also already 13 minutes into the episode, which is not pleasant, we do not, we have not yet, oh my gosh, this sentence is <laughs> sounding so very wrong, we have not yet made a whole lot of progress. That displeases the TSC party. Alrighty then, let's do this again. Yep. Ah. Come on. Oh, why did we all miss? Are you kidding me? Yep. There we go. Kill it for Christ's sake. And close the. Ah! No! Ah, close the bloody door. Now then, preparations. Slay me, darling. Um, those throwing axes. I think you will keep them equipped for the time being, Mr. Raptor. Let us do this? How exactly does the electricity spell work again? There we go. Alrighty then, I've got a surprise for you. Yup. It is called death. There's a critical hit. And there's a miss. Yup. Oh my gosh. Yup. Oh my gosh, we are trapped again. Die! Please! Urgh. You bastard! Oh yeah. Suck it! Suck it, will you? Ah. Come on! Ugh. Way too close for comfort. Or comfort. What? Uh, that is my reaction to when I screw up my sentences. And what exactly does the word comfort mean? Like, it is very, very similar to comfort, isn't it? And do you really say it like that? It is very similar to... TSC, don't try to speak 
the American slash English language all that much. I mean, you are doing it right now, but you shouldn't try to say something that you know will come out the wrong way. What I know will not come out. Oh my gosh, not again! Ugh. What I know will not come out wrong, though, is going to be this delightful spell of ice magic. Where are you? Pesky buck. Show yourself. Ah! Yep. Quite a fast one, I give you that. Ah! 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 Would you please fuck off? We can't get it. Oh my gosh, we can't get it. Yeah. This bloody, sodding, freaking creature of the night <sighs> owned us. It owned us to no end. I am not happy right now. I am really not happy at all. I can't concentrate. It's like all of my commentary is going to be downhill from here. And there's another bug over there. Of course, they have become our new annoyance. No more pyromantles, but instead bugs. I don't even want to come up with a... with a super special awesome unique name for these guys. They will stay freaking bugs until the end of time. Now, what exactly did we uncover here? These stone walls opened up, thus revealing a demonic stone face. Ain't that always such a delightful sight? Tower beats. Here we go. Secret buttons? Not really, but that face. I fear it. I fear it for if we try to stand in front of it, it might decide to bite us. And we are encumbered. To be more specific, Foxy is encumbered. What are the odds? Um, let's see. John is still diseased, but it shouldn't really be a big problem. Foxy, throw away the shaman staff. We no longer need it. Now then. Wait a second. Did obtaining this key do nothing at all? What about this demonic face? <coughs> hmm. Do I need to find something again and place it down inside its very mouth? Probably. Well, there are no secret buttons, therefore, later, I guess. Hmm. And this is only the very first big chamber. What? Ahem. Not a very familiar sounding noise. Hello? Is there somebody there by chance? Because, you know, I am not an intruder. <laughs> I am not just trying to trespass, you know. I am I am just I am just attempting very, very desperately to find my way out of this ancient mountain. <laughs> Do you believe me? The silence does not fill me with a whole lot of confidence. Well, let us hope we will never encounter what made those noises, shall we? In here we got more bucks. A chamber over there, and also... Whoa! Now this is a very, very fancy looking door. Oh, those bug noises. And the other noises, they are coming from beyond the door. Hello? Oh my god. The inner sanctum. <coughs> Just try to understand this for a second. We already breached the outer sanctum, and it wasn't at all easy. There were quite a few pyromantles inside. This, however, is the inner sanctum. Didn't I read something about the inner sanctum? Pfft, sanctum? Didn't I read something about the inner sanctum before? I think on one of the tapestries, maybe? Or was it simply a little bit of inscription on a random wall? I think the... um. The members of the Sacred Fire, they spoke about the Inner Sanctum. Isn't the very undying one supposed to be inside the Inner Sanctum? Oh, this is getting interesting now. Very, very interesting. Whatever the Goromoks worship, whatever was sealed away so long ago, it may slumber beyond this very door or gate, whatever you want to call it. Very fancy looking though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Should we really open this up is the question. I... I do not want to make certain individuals mad. I mean, we can always turn around and try to find another way out of this mountain. Yeah, we all know that is not going to happen anytime soon. Turning around then to find a way to open this door, I guess, even though I don't really want to. Hmm. Maybe behind one of these curtains, or could it be? Oh my gosh. Oh. My gosh, do not tell me that this very, very simple hidden button <laughs> is going to open up the inner sanctum. I am not going to press this just yet. I don't even want to know what pressing that button just did. I am simply going to... Oh my gosh. Uh, calm down, TSC. The bug is not yet free. It is still imprisoned. What do we have over here? Oh my... Ugh. Too many buttons, it scares me. And then here we have a pressure plate. As well as more Cthulhu mages. How beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is the very door leading back to the entrance. Would be lovely if we could open this up to create a circle we can use to run away from our enemies. Well, this is not a button, but instead some sort of red gemstone? Hmm, a red gem. What do you know? We already have a green one, now we have a red one. And maybe this is what we need to place down within the demonic statue's mouth. I am going to... Why are you looking at me like that? Just leave me alone. I shall head back to the very statue soon, very very soon, but what do we have over here? <laughs> no buttons, what a shame. Good lord, 20 minutes into the episode already and we are still stuck within the very entranceway of the Goromov Temple number 2. Nothing in here? How peculiar. So let's see, we found a red gemstone over here, but there's nothing inside of the second alcove. And stepping onto this didn't accomplish a darn thing. The only thing I can still hear are those bucks flapping about their wings. They will die very, very soon. Hmm, I wonder, we found the red gem in here. Do we need to place it down with the other alcove? Just an assumption. Hmm. Nothing happening. Not even if I decide to once again stand on this very pressure plate. Whoa. <laughs> well, 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 what do you know? I suppose I am a genius. Yes, indeed, I must be a genius, ladies and gentlemen. That is the only plausible explanation I can think of. And it leads into the darkness. How inviting. Well, there's another round key here. I will eventually come back here to get my Rockingtons. Also, I will eventually take this red gem with me again, because you never know. It might come in handy in the future. Now then. How to release those bugs, I wonder. What? Aha! Uh -huh. So that is what the very demonic face is for. However, it won't accomplish anything yet. We will also need to open up the second gate. And good lord, these bugs, they are annoying me. Ow! Aha! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, excuse me, how fast are they? I can't even run away. You bloody bastard. Freaking sudden imbecile. Leave us alone, alright? That's all I am asking for. Stop diseasing my very party. It is not polite. Now then, that gate is now open, but this one closed. Hmm, problem, a problem indeed. Both of them need to be open at the same time. I wonder. Well, no secret buttons yet, however, 
another keyhole here and the last keyhole that I decided to activate opened up a series of walls walls that released raptors and bugs chances are the same story is going to happen in here as well would anybody be surprised? hello? aha uh -huh. there's a note here another note of Torum perhaps hmm. I do have to say though Torum man what a freaking badass I mean he managed to come this far all by himself we are struggling and we are a party of four people he is all alone all by himself yet he managed to come so far well I hope that he is still alive and I hope that it was worth it now then what do you have to tell me my friend um, is this the new note let's see <coughs> I have come to the realization that you can only traverse through the dungeon starting from the top of the mountain I think the dungeon were designed that way but why Torum he has come to the realization that you can only traverse through this dungeon if you enter it from the top in all honesty it doesn't sound all that important but at the same time it sounds peculiar this entire dungeon what I still don't know is whether all of it was constructed by the very creator or only this very lower half if the entire dungeon was created by the um, undying one then why is the only entrance at the very top you think that guy would want a very very conveniently placed entry or entrance but all the way at the top I mean it's a long way down all the way from there to here and the other way around as well it doesn't make sense I mean, if this dungeon was simply built as a challenge for prisoners and criminals, it would make sense then, but no. This very temple already existed, and apparently the king, according to Torum's notes, isn't even aware of the very existence of this temple. Why is the only entrance located at the very top? It has something to do with this temple's and mountain's very origin, I am sure. But at the moment I am as confused as Torum, I can't make sense of it. Well, maybe we will stumble upon the answers sooner or later. Now how does one open up this? Hmm. Well first of all, let's use that key and oh dear. If I open up this very um, mechanism, if I use the very key... Let me think about this for a second. Monsters will no doubt be released but this gate is still closed. Can I try to shake them off? Maybe. Only one way to find out. One second, saving the game. Now then, gonna ready that ice spell. <laughs> Not like that, mind you. Foxy, the keyhole hasn't done anything to you. Don't insult it. Who has the key though? Aha. Prepare yourselves for the impact, the impact of evil. Later. Oh my gosh. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It was wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Wrong. Gibberish. Wrong. I pressed the wrong button. And here they go. Here they fucking go. It's a raptor. Um, yeah. See, the problem now is that I can circle around him. But if the bugs decide to join the skirmish, it's. Oh my gosh. There they go. If they decide to come in here, it won't be pretty. In fact, I think I will actually try to tank this bastard for what choice do we have. Oh, come on. Why are you so resistant to damage? I'm about to die. In fact, I think I will die here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dead it. Why? Please. Come on. I can't believe it, but we actually managed to... Oh my gosh, there's the second one. Spoke too soon. Nom nom nom. Okay, easy now. Mr. TSC, I... Oh! I didn't even see this lever. Did I not walk into this corridor before? No, I think I only... Um, I looked at it from a distance, but I didn't walk it down yet. So this is good. We can use this as an advantage over our enemies. First, good old saving the game. Next, I think I am going to drink this health potion. 
it won't regenerate all that much, but it is enough for the moment. There we go, Foxy, you are going to make us new potions real quick. Mortar, here we go, potion number one, um, like that. What? Would you please place it down? There you go. One of the tar beads. Uh, why? I am not clicking the button two times, the very mouse button. I am not, yet it selects and deselects over and over and over again. Like that, see? I only press the button once. Is my mouse slowly dying? Can't be. Come on. Please work. God damn it, you piece of technology. Potion number one and... Potion number two, please. Oh my gosh. About time. Now then. He is also hungry, therefore let's give him one of these lovely ice lizard steaks. There you go, Foxy. Nom nom nom. Lamia. Uh, you guys can still wait a little longer. Well, John can eat the baked maggot. Nom nom nom. Now then. Let us dispose of the vermin before the vermin decides to dispose of us. Hello, Mr. Raptor. Where are you? Whoa, there we go. Yep. And this time, um, we actually have a little bit less to worry about. Yep. How I wish I could backstab this bugger. But it is a little bit too risky at the moment. Yep. Yep. Any day now. Yep. Yep. At least the very meat the raptors drop. Beautiful. Replenishes a whole lot of food. Therefore, I don't think we will ever need to head back to our food locker. A shame though. I spent so much time making it look all clean and beautiful and nice. But we will never see it again. Blar. Um, oh my gosh, there it goes. The bug incoming! Hello. There it is. Get over here. Please. Any day now. Oh my gosh, that goes. Yep. Beautiful. And one more like that. Ah! Wrong spell. Yep. Freaking bugs everywhere. Oh, is this the big challenge of the Goromog temple? Oh, Goromogs. I am so impressed. Bucks. That is the only thing you can throw at me? Bucks? Giant bucks? Come on. I was expecting more from worshippers of the Elder Gods. Please. Now down here we have some more jerky. How beautiful. Now, what to do about this mechanism? We need to open up both of the gates. This is like a timed puzzle, I bet. Um... Let's see. First of all, any secret buttons in here? And we are slowly but surely getting close to 40 minutes. Hm. I wonder how big this floor is going to be. Like, I think the Gorowork Temple number one consumed about four, maybe five videos. Hm. Still not as much as the trap floor, mind you. So far, that one consumed the most parts. Which I am not feeling bad about. I just want to <laughs> finally once again feel like I can actually finish one of my Let's Plays. And here, like all of my old Let's Plays, many of them, them, blah, 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 many of my old Let's Plays, such as um, Dead Space and etc., they will still get deleted, don't you worry. Oh my gosh, oh my fucking gosh. It's a Pyromantal, who'd have thought? It's a freaking Antimore box. And I will, and I camp them here. And why are we missing so badly? Oh my gosh, spell business. Wrong button. Ah! I can't concentrate. Why can't we hit this fucking bastard? There are two bucks. I'm out of here. I am so much. Look how fast they are. Still, are you kidding me? How? Uh, I am not happy. I am so not feeling happy. Did I at all say if that I killed the raptor and those other two bucks? I probably didn't. Yeah. Hello. Ah, why of course. Why of course. Our health is all the way in the cellar again. I didn't yet make those two potions and... 
TSC, just try to ignore what happened. Just try to ignore it. The very Grimrock, Goromok, whatever, Blar Temple is trying to make you feel frustrated. Don't let it happen to you. Where are you, Mr. Raptor? Where the frick are you? I can hear you. Oh, it's still not dead. Look how fast they are. We can't even back off. Oh my god. I hate them. I hate these bugs more than anything else. Oh, freaking. Uh, I... Ugh, I don't I don't even know anymore. I, I, I just don't know. I think these bugs have earned themselves a spot within my top 10. The top 10 of the most annoying video game creatures of all time in the history of ever. Hello. There you are, good sir. There you are. <sighs> I never, never before felt happier to see a raptor. Bouncing about. Uh, this will take some time, of course, but I don't care. If these creatures alone are already so bad... ...bad in a very annoying way, then I don't even want to imagine what the Goromorks themselves have to offer. Oh, good sir. You'd be dead already, if only we wouldn't miss so very often. Oh my gosh. Yep, still missing, Captain, still missing. Can't hit our marks, not at all. There we go. Now then. Back on track, who is still hungry, or who is hungry again? Foxy. You can have a steak, good sir. Nom nom. John, you can have the baked maggot the second time. Nom nom nom. Now then. What do I need to do again? Ah, yes, I need to... I, I need to unlock this without going insane. Well, first of all, back down this corridor. Pulling this lever, but first saving, for we do not wish to die again. It's only because of them damn bucks. Yes, thanks for incinerating your friend. I appreciate it, but there are two of them. They are fucking two of them. Are you kidding me? Just leave me alone. Back off. Back the fuck off. I pressed the wrong buttons again. No, I didn't, but my freaking mouse is screwing up to no end. Don't scare me like that, you little... freaking jerk. The reason why... See? The reason why my spells fail is because the mouse is for some reason registering two clicks. And it isn't all that old yet, and it was expensive. I am not satisfied. You failed me, mouse. You failed me. That's what happens nowadays. You spend a whole lot of money on expensive technology, and then the technology decides to just die. Even though you take good care of it, you maintain it all the time, you clean it, but no, I'm not gonna work anymore. Ah! You bastard. Oh my gosh, mouse. Why do you need to fail me now? Come on. Show yourself. It's still failing. Oh my gosh. Why? Mouse. You are failing me so very, very much right now. I am going to die just because of your deeds. Over here. There we go. Ooh, two hits, eh? How did that happen? And another threat has been disposed of. What are the odds? I'll have my gemstone back. Thank you very much. As well as my two rockings. There we go. Now then, can I please find a way to work this mechanism somehow? Anything new in here? Hello? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, this looks like an item, alright. The Gauntlets of Valor. <laughs> I am feeling happy again. Yes, I am feeling happy indeed. Yet another piece of the Valor set. Oh, let's check them out. Um, that is, I want to check them out, but my inventory is apparently full again. 
How beautiful. Note of Torum, you can go. Now then, which gloves are better? Gauntlets of Valor, protection, plus 15. Um, plate gauntlets, only 12. The decision has been made. Um, gauntlets of Valor. These gauntlets were worn by the Emperor of Melantel. Or Melantel, I don't really care. But once again, um, armor that was worn by the Emperor, I will happily equip it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not like that, though. Mouse? Ah, uh, I am tricking you so freaking hard right now, and you will obey. I will no longer accept this act of treason. There. Now don't you screw up on me again. John, um, you are wearing plate gauntlets. Yes, you are already wearing plate gauntlets, therefore these ones can go. Anything else? Secret buttons? Not yet. Not a single secret button thus far. How peculiar. Not even in here? Huh. So it really must be a timed gate puzzle. Alrighty then, I can work with that. Don't you worry, I can totally work with that. Pressing this button activates the, um, activates the demonic face. And pressing that one, I get it. Um, let's try this. Now then. Hmm. Almost. Uh, the question is, do I really want to open up and breach the inner sanctum? Look at this bloody door. It is not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. We should turn around. We should never look back. We shouldn't at all disturb the peace and silence of this place. But do we have a choice? No. Come on now. Yep. Aha! <sighs> Breathe calm, Mr. TSC. Breathe calm. The inner sanctum has been unlocked. All we need to do now is step inside. But what are the odds? There is a pressure plate right behind the very entrance. What is it going to do? Will it close the gate behind me? <sighs> oh gosh. Oh my god. I really do not wish to encounter the Gormux. They are expecting my arrival. They are so expecting it. And those noises I heard before, they are freaking waiting for me. TSC, be brave. You have come this far. You have freaking bested like how many floors already? Nine. You will not give up now. Nope, not at all. We will not give up. We will prevail. We will find and locate the undying one. As well as Torum, if he is still alive. Hopefully, our only friend. Now then. Oh gosh. What is that? It's coming closer. It sounds magical and threatening. Oh my gosh. The noises, they are fucking everywhere. No, 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 no. Stay away from me. Stay the fuck away from me. If you know what's good for you. Please. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, whoever you are. <sighs> a small step for humanity, but a huge step for our enemies. They will gain the opportunity to kill us. You! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Jesus! No. Hold on. Holy. Holy Jesus! Ah! <laughs> 
got 1000 XP for each of them. Oh my god, this setup and execution was brilliant. One gate opening after the other and suddenly the entire corridor and ambush reveal themselves. I am pretty sure those were exactly what I called them at the beginning. The Gorobox. They... oh my fucking god. What an elaborate ambush indeed. They were waiting here for me. This entire time. <laughs> and what do you know? They are skilled magic users. They can use fire magic, they can cast ice magic, poison magic, or I should say earth magic, everything, electricity as well, and they have a shield. They have a shield, they are resilient, they are dangerous and evil. And these were only two of them. Good lord, I don't want to encounter these guys within narrow corridors. I don't want to encounter more of them. As much XP as they grant. <sighs> well, we killed them. Both of them. But I am pretty sure these two weren't the only members of the cult. There are no doubt more of them down here. And they are waiting for me. Goromox! You saw this? You felt it? I have just killed two of your very brethren. And the rest will follow as well. You think that you can prey on me, can feast on me. You think that I can undo your very vision? Well, guess what? I will. You fucking bastards, erecting statues of yourselves everywhere, thinking you're also oh almighty, also oh very, very special, not on my watch. We haven't come this far to fail now. Good lord, that's an ogre. And it also sounds like a giant enemy crab. Are those your pets? Are those your second line of defense? Well, bring it on. At the very beginning of this mission, we were a mere group of prisoners, confused, lost and alone, just wanting to survive. Then we slowly but surely equipped ourselves with good armor and wanted to escape. Then the Undying One spoke to us and we wanted to... <laughs> we wanted to help him out to escape still. But now, after having come this far, I am no longer just here to escape. If necessary, I will destroy your entire damn cult. I will take you all bastards down to hell with me. I am still feeling unsure about the undying one itself, whether it would be good to help it or not. But I will not allow you to stay alive any longer. We will destroy you, whether you like it or not. And I'd say I am going to take a quick nap <laughs> within this very huge chamber. No doubt a bad idea, but what can you do? Sometimes heroes simply need to rest a little. And the very undying one is being silent. <laughs> peculiar indeed, very very peculiar. Maybe he or she or it is simply putting faith into us. I like to imagine that kind of scenario. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Frozen Foxy has leveled up. And guess what? First thing I am going to give him will be... One point in here. There we go. Improved Combat Caster. 50% faster spell casting. Last but not least, the other three points can go towards the Improved Thrust Bolt. There we go, willpower plus one. And I think I will actually give him one of the very books, simply because I want to have a more powerful spell at my disposal. Therefore, Frozen Foxy, once again you shall receive one of the books of infinite wisdom. There we go. Read it and feel enlightened, good sir. <coughs> there you go. Two more points into ice magic. And bingo, we have learned the improved Frostbolt. Let's test it out. Come on, button, don't just screw up on me again. Hmm, doesn't really look all that different to me, but as long as it has more damage points, I am satisfied. 
the final two points can go into uh, why yes why the hell not they can go into spellcraft beautiful and the last book I shall give out um, next time ladies and gentlemen this is only the very beginning of the Goromok temple number two I am sure it is still a large place and it will challenge us to no end finding the undying one within this inner sanctum is not going to be an easy task. My humble name is the Shadow Cookie, aka Mr. TSC. And why? Wait a second, mouse button, work with me. Ah, oh, what do you know, there is one more available skill point. <laughs> I didn't even notice at first. It can go into... Circle of Protection. All party members gain resist cold plus 25. Mm, ah. I don't really care all that much, it can go into Spellcraft. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, my humble name is Mr. TSC, aka The Shadow Cookie. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, maybe favorite it, blah 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 blah. And I shall see you all next time. Signing out for now. Its wrath increases, and the mountain continues to weaken. We offer its sacrifices, but I fear that the binding will not remain intact too much longer. They have reached the inner sanctum. There is no alternative path to choose. We must remain and dispose of the intruders. After that, their bodies shall be fed to the mountain. The Undying One does not like failure. It is imperative to keep its binding intact. Ha 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 ha!